Hey again, I'm back. And uh, this is just gonna be a short video on, I guess the solar setup and the brass monkey fridge. It's been um, around 31 days, say a month that the solar's been on and the fridge has been running. And we're just gonna do a little checkup and see what's happening really, what's been going on. Now the fridge has been set to, oh, still don't know how to work it properly. I think it's been set to zero degrees on the left side and minus 18. Oh, it's been set to one degree and minus 18 on the freezer side. So we'll leave that how it is because it's done pretty well there. One thing I have noticed with the brass monkeys is the voltage reads one whole volt lower, which is it's a little bit weird. You can see that there. On the Victron app, it's showing 12.2 volts, whereas this is 11.3, which I suppose I've got the cutoff set on low, which is 10 point zero I think maybe 9.9 .9, I'm not too sure but everything seems to work properly there with low so with the missing bolt but um, yeah so far so good with this I mean it's not a very good stack job in there but this has been used for about a month now as really a work fridge um, we load it up with water beers at the end of the day and there's three of us constantly in and out of it all day and this one we've got frozen bottles of water and I think there is some icy poles down below there we'll have a quick look There you go. Sorry for the bad stacking, but icy poles, frozen. Can't go wrong, I guess. It's doing really well. The only thing I have done is I put these little strips here just to sort of give these a bit more cushioning because they're not really the best design. It does let a bit of condensation out down this side here on the freezer side which those three strips has helped out a lot really not getting the condensation but anyhow let's have a look at what the batteries have been doing the solar. now the solar I'll try and get a iPad video of this has the lifetime total at 25 kilowatts just out of that cheap eBay, eBay panel um, it's done really good just straight off 105 amp hour battery uh, what more can I say I guess the fridge is currently running I don't know if you can hear the compressor running on the fridge but that's drawing around 4 amps oh, that's really good Sorry, I just had a call on the iPad come through. But anyway, the compressor's now kicked off, which is pretty handy for my video here. But if you check it out, 0.0, .0 amps, and it's reading 12 point, say four, 12.4. And without the compressor on on the fridge, the fridge is now sort of reading correct, which is a bit strange. So with the compressor on, it reads a volt lower, but here's what it is, I guess. Just have to remember that one. And looking at these little charts here, the max we've got out of our 250 watt panel is, uh, where is it? I did see it. There's 143 watts there. 155 watts we've got, which is sort of the maximum being seen out of that 250 watt eBay panel. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't really know the magic around solar and 
how it's going, but it all seems to be keeping up, which is pretty good for me. Um, well, looking at the days here, we've had the fridges consumed 1.18 kilowatts on the first day we had it, and the max it's consumed is there 1.3 kilowatts which you've got to remember is that's day and night so the solar can't charge during the night it's just supplying during the day and you look there we've got 700 watts came in during the day and 700 dare I say 700 would have gone out oh, 600 sorry gone out at night and the batteries kept up I mean the minimum was 11.43 the battery saw So overall, this is really good. It's impressed me a lot. It's um, I don't have to jump, come out and start the car, go for a drive, do anything anymore. It's just all sort of working. I mean, yeah, it's really impressed me. For the 200 bucks, I think it was I spent around about 200 bucks. Really impressing me. Anyway, that's a short little update. I hope it's helped someone, but thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.